It's August D-Day. Well, August pre-release track D-Day. <laughs> Let's go. You know BTS? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Lander, we are here again today for the what and only Yoongi, I mean, Suga, I mean, August D, today. We're gonna be listening to the pre-release song from August D, aka Yoongi, People Part 2, a part of his brand new album D-Day coming April 21st. We're gonna do the usual here, listen to the entire song uninterrupted, try to find some lyric translations, and then watch it again with pauses, so I hope that you are excited. Yo, congratulations to Yoongi for becoming an NBA ambassador. If we could just go back to the moment that Yoongi was picking his stage name, Sugar shooting guard and tell him that he's going to be an ambassador for the NBA. I want to see his face. I just want to see his face. Congratulations and congratulations for everything else. But for now, we're going to listen to the song People Part Two. Why so serious? Let's see if that's answered. After we just got done with Face and Everything, I was not expecting this August the album to come so quickly, but then I was because of the tour. So now I got to learn all of this and I'm ready for the challenge. So let's go ahead and listen to the new August D era. The hands, the hands. Oh. So time is Are you? So far away. Is that a reference? Sing it to me, you gay. I wish I was the bathroom attendant. That son hitting his beautiful little face. Yo, this was making me a little bit more emotional. I mean, <gasps> this, I just said that. Stop talking about a sandcastle. <laughs> I'm a loser too. What is that puppy? The puppy turned into a guitar. You are a vocalist, young gay. This moment right here, the record player with the headphones in bed with the sun glistening on your face. Yeah, yeah, that moment right there. Infinity pool like my love. Ah. Okay. When you pose it like that, it makes me want to cry. Not the cardigan you eat. Ugh. That little shot with the sun on his face. Uh, it is. Imagine going up and just putting you. Let me shut up. Doggy. Is that it? Not in director era. 
그때 당시에 에, 코로나로 어, 여러 가지 것들을 할수 없을 때 어, 굉장히 모든 것을 잃어버렸다라고 생각을 했을 때 썼던 곡이기 때문에 나 자신한테 되게 해주고 싶었던 이야기였습니다. Let me tell you one thing. This is a band right here who does not care about streams. <laughs> this is a band that's like, I'm gonna put an interview at the end of this just to prove to y'all, to show y'all that it's not all about the numbers. It's about my art and it's about my music. I love that. It was a very warm music video. It just felt like literally a session at his house where he was just writing his true feelings, which now at the end I could tell came from that COVID-19 pandemic time. So that makes so much sense why the video was shot like this. I'm so excited to go over the lyrics. The ones that were throwing me off a little bit were I use lyrics, the English lyrics. I'm not exactly sure I was understanding what it was saying, but we're gonna go read them. I don't know, he just looks so heavenly and that literally sit down from the clouds above, right? Like, am I tripping? When the warm sun glow was hitting his pretty little face. <laughs> Let me stop, the country's coming out of me. Bless his heart. <laughs> I just have this idea that I think I could read transcripts on YouTube. I forgot about that. So maybe let's just try that this time. I mean, that's to me the most definite translation, right? I don't know. Let's try that though. Let's see what it says. So transcripts, here we go. So time is yet now, right here to go. I know you know, anything does know. That is the English part that I was like, a little confused about. So time is yet now, right here to go. I know you know, anything does know. Do we know that they know that we know that they know that maybe we know something? Okay, this thing called love. Maybe it's just a momentary list of emotions. It's conditional. What is it that I love? So Yungi starting this song off here with questioning what is the point of love and what do I love? Wasn't loved enough as a kid, that's why I'm the cautious type. I want it, a sincere connection with others. And then ARMY, that's where I kind of he drew from ARMY. <laughs> Forever something like a sandcastle, you know. Here we go with the sandcastle talk. It comes crumbling down at the calmest of waves. What is it about the loss that makes us so sad? Not having a Yoongi. Really, it's the dread that makes us so sad. So far away, you're gone. So far away, kind of moment, reference. Getting far away, too far away, you're gone. I know I have to know. So time is yet now, right here to go. I know you know, anything does know. Can somebody help me with this chorus? I'm just really trying to get it. Nobody doesn't know anymore. That's so, it's so many double negatives. I'm gonna need my English teacher <laughs> to come help me. And then Yoongi said, after I said, I was so sad. What is it that makes you so sad? You bitch. <laughs> really is the dread that's so daunting. The us that dreamt of a future together is no more. What? We're the ones who tore down the sandcastle. Oh, bitch, the waves did it. I had nothing to do with it. They say there are no winners or losers in this game, but I'm always the loser. When I heard that, I was like, no, you're not. It's me. Hi, I'm the loser. It's me. Don't you dare. I'll take that for you. Like, I'll take that L, literally. <laughs> and then we leave. Because both love and people are selfish. So far away, you're gone. Gone far away. Too far away, you're gone. More chorus shenanigans. So goes the person. So goes the love. What comes at the end of love? Endless people, a love that has passed away. Is love wholly perfect on its own? No, bitch. You have to have two sides of it. Selflessness can actually be selfish too. It's true. Bitch, don't you dare hit me with a paradox. Yeah, I know selflessness can be selfish. Do I? What? <laughs> it's actually my greed when I say that it's all for you. So I'm doing all this for you. It's not because I'm doing like for you. I'm doing it because of me. I want you to be happy. And that's my own greediness. Mm, that's in depth, boo. Will I be happy if I give up my greed? No. I have illusion that can never be fulfilled. They say life's a struggle between resistance and submission. Don't you tell me that, because I am resisting. I say it's a struggle against loneliness. If you can hold it back, it's okay to cry. You're already more than enough to be loved. So, time isn't yet now, right here to go. I know you know anything goes. Anything, okay. Y'all, somebody help me with this chorus. <laughs> but I'm so happy with these using translations. Why have I never thought of that before? Okay, anyway, beautiful. You can see the despair written in these lyrics. You can see his heart breaking. You can see the loneliness coming through. You can see all of that. That was probably really prevalent during the COVID-19 period. Little did he know when he was releasing D2, it would come right at the beginning of COVID. And he probably didn't have the full real promotion schedule because of that, but... Anyway, I love that. The chorus, though I use voice, was very, very beautiful. I don't think I understand the lyrics, but Yungi's lyrics in there were really thought-provoking and really, really deep. Let's watch the video one more time. And look at that cute little doggy. And Yungi. I said it. The cat and the dog. Cat dog. Cat dog. Okay. So we started this interview scene that actually closes out the video, too. Uh, yeah, yeah. So time is here, now fighting, go. 
So time is yet, now right here to go. I know you know. Anything does know. I don't really get it. So you think this is Yoongi? This is like a representation of Yoongi at night. He wakes up in the middle of the night, maybe has a dream or something like that. And he's like, I gotta write these lyrics down. Can somebody translate what he was writing? Because I don't really know. I mean, I'm just here for this cardigan, Yoongi. A five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> and he's alone in this video, so I think that's very important to kind of portray that emotion of loneliness, emptiness, sadness. It's when you really are stuck with your thoughts, is whatever all of those thoughts happen. When you're distracted and surrounded by other people kind of talking and doing whatever, you don't really get into your head as much, at least I don't. So it's these little moments like when I'm brushing my teeth, you know, it's these little moments like when I'm just like waiting for something to heat up in the microwave where delusion sets in, destruction begins, you know, it's those little moments. That's why I think people of our generation like to ha always have something on like TV or radio or music or TikTok or something playing in the background so we don't think. <laughs> And is he talking to himself, the old him? Uh, yeah. Is this Yoongi's real house? Do we know this? Is it a set? Is it an Airbnb? The dog. The dog? He's drinking coffee again? I thought we had to stop that a little bit. Answer all these questions. Those little earrings too. This shot. It reminds me of Indigo, but like a Yoongi Go. A Yoongi version. And see, he's showing his caffeine addiction again. But I thought we beat this. I thought we jumped over it. I thought I took it over for you. Is this a real studio? Because this is actually really beautiful. It reminds me of that studio in Nope. Have you watched Nope? I know that has nothing to do with that. But the dude that was editing the pictures of Bigfoot and shit like that, where he was like in his amazing studio that I was obsessed with, is giving Yoongi already has it vibes. <laughs> Once again with the same castle. I think that I'm obsessed with the way that he says loser. You're the loser. No, it's not you, it's me. Dog. <laughs> Look at that smile. None of us will give you a smile like that. <laughs> no matter how many times we ask to marry him. This, this, beautiful, beautiful. I understand why they made that like a thumbnail. Is that his infinity pool? And who took the shirt off underneath his cardigan? I really can't lie to you. I did not notice if he was wearing a shirt underneath it earlier. <sighs> Chapter two has been wild on all of us. <laughs> See, no, I'm not tripping. He had a shirt on. Not crazy. What happened? Thank you. These moments. Yeah, big producer boy. NBA ambassador. You know, fudge. If I could just be a dog for a day, 
Maybe I'll transform into that dog. 대부분 다뭐 사람들한테 전달하고 싶은 이야기도 있지만 나 자신한테 이야기. And then this look too. He's given so director vibes. You know. 사실이기도 하고요. Leg crossed in the chair. 코로나로 여러 가지 the hair. 쓸 때. 굉장히 모든 것을 잃어버렸다고 What do you think he smells like? I'm sorry. 했을 때 썼던 곡이 때문에 나 자신한테 되게 해주고 싶었던 이야기였습니다. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so inappropriate. I'm so sorry. All right, everyone. We have officially listened to People Part 2 twice now and read the lyrics. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I am so curious what the thoughts of people are because there's little moments of it that I'm obsessed with. There's moments that I'm still questioning. There's things about it that I'm like, I don't care. I'm going to support you. You told me not to cry, but I'm crying. Okay, I'm going to cry. I'm going to see you in concert soon, beach. Oh my God. And you're about to drop a whole album. We got to learn these words, people. Get it going. Stream, stream, stream. Learn those words. Okay, congratulations, Junki. I love you. I'm so excited for D-Day. Thank you for everything. Thank you for bringing me into this world of BTS. It was you, Will Halsey, and um, you. So, thank you. I love y'all. Make sure you click like, comment, and subscribe down below. Of course, I'll be back for D-Day. Till then, remember, I love you. See you soon. I would love to know them by name. So, 